guys, what's up? I'm Greg, this is Q, together we're Mr. Happy 0121. Welcome to the Snack Pack. Today we're reviewing wonton soup from Egg Roll Express. Yes. Ah, you guys thought I screwed up the title two, di two videos in a row, didn't you? You don't even know about that. We had a video go out Monday. Remember that Red Hook fish sandwich we made like a year ago? Oh, of course. Um... We have a newer Burger King video, and somehow the info got swapped, so for like 45 minutes, people were clicking on and expecting to see us eat a Whopper, and they were seeing us eat a, a Red Hook sandwich with a hair on it. Go back and watch. Watch. Blow that video up. There's a hair on that video, or on that sandwich. And I ate it, I think. You think? I think I did. Anyway. I bet you it was probably like a, a cat hair or something. Let's hope. It, it, does that make it better than a human hair? What kind of society do we live in? Well, anyway, <laughs> today we're eating the bacon cheddar tender crisp. Yeah, bacon cheddar tender crisp. There we go. When you say it all quicker, it sounds better. But with the bacon cheddar tender crisp, we went ahead and left the tomato off. Tomatoes are for closers. Wow, look at that. I have to bring the camera in for this. Are we? It doesn't look like absolute shit. <laughs> Way to go, King. Look at that. The bun doesn't look moldy. <laughs> there we go with the two pieces of bacon, though. <sighs> Good day for Burger King. Food doesn't look moldy. I don't see no hairs on it. Two pieces of bacon. I'll give you the untouched side. Oh, great. Take that one piece of lettuce off. Here we go. That's like uh, cheese sauce. Yeah. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. There you go. Mm -hmm. This was not a horrendous train wreck. My recommendation to you when you order one of these, though, go ahead and tell the folks at Burger King to hold back on some of that moldy lettuce and go ahead and throw an extra slice of bacon on this thing. Yeah. I'm going to finish this, but not right now because I don't want to spend the rest of the video like getting my hands all disgusting. Yeah. See? Look at my hands. That's yeah. how you do it. It's not how you do it. No. No. We'll grade this thing so you can get out and get, get your hands washed. Usually B we plus. have uh, supplies. B plus. B plus? B plus, yes. B plus, this could have been an A if they would have had ample bacon on it, but all things considered, uh, with Burger King's track record, I'm really pleasantly surprised. Now, this sandwich was three ninety nine. dollars Do you like, sorry to interrupt you, do you like lettuce on your hamburgers? It, it just doesn't seem to go with it. Uh, it doesn't really have a place on a, a hamburger. A Big Mac? Like that little funk of lettuce they put on a Big Mac <laughs> yeah. I'm all right with? This is actually pretty good looking Burger King lettuce, but they have the most gnarled up, just god awful hobo lettuce. <laughs> hobo lettuce. So no, from Burger King I really don't enjoy their lettuce. I since we already take the tomato off though, and people complain because you take you know take product off or take something off, I leave the lettuce on. For you, and you. That's a pretty good saying. We should use that more often. Nah, know. it's kind of fruity. All right, two B pluses. Or did you give it just a B? Just, no, I gave it a B plus. Two B pluses. Good to go. Should have been an A, Burger King. Put on more bacon. Leave off some lettuce. I'm not overly upset about the $4 price on this. It would have been better at three forty nine. but what are you going to do? Let's hope that the title goes out right on this and that you're all doing well. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Oh, you didn't get to say it today. Hi! He hates Nazi Barbie. Thanks for watching, guys.